Two families came together today to say farewell to Private Sean Rooney, the heartbroken family he was born into and his army family. Dressed in the Irish flag, the UN flag and a blue beret, Private Rooney's coffin was carried from the home of his grandparents the short distance to the Holy Family Church in Dundalk for his funeral mass. President Higgins, the Taoiseach and Thánaiste, representing people all across Ireland who mourn the young peacekeeper. When Sean was killed last week, it really did pierce the heart of his family and the heart of this close-knit community. It's not talked about a lot, but families who have sons and daughters serving abroad, they know the risks and dangers that are always present in regions of conflict. Peace building will always be a risky business. Through Father Ryan, Sean's fiance Holly said she was heartbroken their life together had been cut short, but lucky to experience their love. His mother Natasha's love for Sean was steeped in every word she spoke. Sean was placed in my arms when I was 16 years old. And he gave me purpose. I wanted to do better for Sean. I wanted to finish school for Sean. I wanted to go on to a third level education for Sean, to buy my house for Sean. I wanted Sean to have a mother that he could be proud of. Private Rooney's cortege connected the most important places in his life, Dundalk and Donegal. Crossing the border, the PSNI took over from Gardaí to escort his coffin onwards and at Newton Cunningham it was placed on a gun carriage for a solemn march to the graveyard at All Saints Church. I, in his life, he gave me purpose. In his death, I will find new purpose. A lone piper led Private Rooney's coffin to the graveside, where the Irish and UN flags and the blue beret which had dressed his coffin were presented to his family and fiancée. A volley of shots was fired to honour the young soldier, and the last post played as his family threw white roses into his grave, and his colleagues in the 27th Battalion and his unit in Lebanon gave Private Rooney their final salute. Eileen Magner, RTE News, Newton Cunningham.